Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got a very busy day and I felt like it would be a fairly good representation of a day in my life. So, why not vlog it? I just actually finished vlogging um, kind of a weekend in my live video and I really enjoyed doing that. I talked about it a little bit in that video, but I just love the idea of like just vlogging fairly frequently to be able to look back just on random days for memories like i'm the person that will go back into their snapchat stories and watch all the snaps from four years ago like i just love having video memories to look back on so yeah it's kind of one of my goals i think for the rest of this year is to vlog more just because I love makeup content and I love doing that, but it can be hard and it can be expensive. So we gotta find a balance. Lightning stricken cactus and it starts to rain. Smell of steamed asphalt since it novocaine nature. I need to get a Nespresso sponsorship because my love for Nespresso is mm. this morning is definitely a to-do list type of a Monday. So I've got my list and a pencil, and I just need to like get everything down that I need to do. This is the cutest to-do list I have ever seen. It's by this brand. This Mog Maglia, um, they're like hand painted. So this is like linen and then it's painted on here and like the foil is pressed on and stuff, but it's super cute. My little local stationery store carries this brand and I've seen it other places. I'm not sure if it's specifically Midwest or not, but I have really been liking this. I can, I'll take like meeting notes and stuff on it too cause it's really easy to turn like my to-dos from a meeting into actually like actionable crossed off items on here. But today simply needs to be like, what the heck are we gonna do? Honestly, I kind of feel like I look crazy today. I don't know. I think it's cause I, just, I had mascara on yesterday for the first time in a while. So I've got like the <laughs> dark circles under my eyes again. But pretty much I have decided that I need to get myself ready quickly before I try to tackle anything else on that list because I, if I'm running around in my PJs like without my skincare on, I just feel like a chicken with my head cut off. But if I take the time to like do, literally just put on moisturizer and SPF quick and you know, some real clothes that I always feel better. So the reason I am going to be so busy today is because it's a Monday, so obviously I've got normal like work things to do. And then also they are showing our apartment this afternoon, which <sighs> I really hate that they don't just have like a show unit for our building. They'll actually show you the apartments because I mean... When we toured, we were lucky, and the person who lived here, it was just, like, one dude who had, like, no things, so it looked, you know, really clean and empty, and I can visualize my own space, but I kind of feel bad for the people who are going to tour our unit because it's two people living in this tiny apartment, and listen, I got a lot of stuff, and they're gonna look at this corner of the room where all my beauty stuff is, and they're gonna be like, this bedroom's tiny. It's not really that tiny, but... You know, I just feel like for the apartments themselves, it's like not a good business plan to have your tenants be the showing. But I know it's like a really common thing, but like I just don't like it. Cause we we toured apartments like this and like there were multiple properties that it was like, okay, I'm not living there because of the unit that I saw. And it's like the floor plan and the actual apartment wasn't that bad, but like, we had one that we went to tour and the girl stayed in the apartment the whole time in her PJs sitting on the couch and she had like four cats in the apartment and it was like okay yeah I don't have good vibes I really don't we're not we're not moving to this apartment you know so it's just like I don't know I feel like it's high risk for the actual property manager to do it this way but 
basically because I work from home I have had to tell them no literally three times in the past because of different meetings and stuff or just like during COVID like I was not interested in that like I'm sorry no um but now this is the fourth time they're trying to show the unit I don't want to be like horrible because we're still like when we move we're moving to a different complex but we're still with the same property manager and I actually like them so I don't want them to hate me <laughs> they might already it might be too late but so I I didn't say anything like I'm gonna let them show the unit today and it'll be fine but I just feel like I gotta get things a little bit clean because it's like I'm having company over, except for I'm not going to be here for the company, and I don't know, like, what they're going to want to see. Okay, hair is curled. Uh, ignore the floor when I show you this, because in the process of cleaning out, but this is the new flow bra from Balance Athletica, and I am obsessed with it. Look at how cute that is. It like crisscrosses in the back. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. And I love this green color. It is so soft. Definitely has a good amount of support, but not too much. I would like one in every color, please, and thank you, Balance. Okay, not me absolutely stressing out in the middle of the day, but I've gotten the apartment to clean enough where they can get an idea of the space. Like I said, I kind of hate that the apartment does this, so I don't feel bad if it's not perfectly picturesque looking because it's just not a lot of time to make something look you know like tour ready like maybe i care more than they think that other tenants care but like i don't know anyway so apartment is majority of the way clean like nice enough like you get an idea but because our dryer is so broken we just have crap sitting there and people are gonna have to deal <laughs> I need to go get myself lunch. I'm not eating here because I don't want to make the kitchen a disaster right before there's people coming to look at the place. So I'm going to go pick up lunch and then I'm going to go work somewhere on campus so that I'm out of the way. Of course, I had a meeting scheduled right before the tour as well. So I need to go like make sure I have a space to take a meeting. I have good internet like ugh thought today well I did say today was gonna be chaotic so I don't know why I'm like just now getting stressed like girl we woke up and knew today was gonna be a mess so yeah okay I made it to a workspace got a delicious burrito bowl for lunch so now I can make some changes to the project that I need to before the meeting in an hour and chow down on my lunch um, and hang out here until the tour is over back at our place. So that's what I'm about to do for the next like two and a half-ish hours. I've got a good chunk of time. Okay, I finished my meeting for the day. It went really well, so that was good. Just have some changes to make on that project. Now I'm heading to Starbucks to meet my sister to do a little work outside. I love getting to work outside, so we're gonna do that because the apartment tour is still happening, so can't go back home yet. So our um, coffee work session has turned into a, can anybody guess where we're going? Target, we're going to Target. <laughs> Nobody's surprised. I'm back home now. Everything looks normal in the apartment, so that's good. I don't know, it's just weird to have having random people walk into your space while you're not there, but it's all good. Finished up at Target. I didn't get too much, but I did want to show you guys this because I've talked about different games that Charles and I like to play before and this one caught my eye my sister found it and I thought this could be fun okay so it's called a little wordy it's called a sneaky two-player tile game I love finding games that are two-player compatible because like if it's just Charles and I especially during COVID like 
I don't want to look at a screen all the time. I consume a lot of screen time. I do love technology, but every now and then, you know, I want to do something different. So basically, it's kind of like Scrabble, which if anybody knows me, they know I hate Scrabble, but it seems different. Basically, you like get a pile of tiles and then you come up with like a secret word and then the other person has to guess what word you're trying to spell. So we'll see. I'll do an update somewhere on Instagram or maybe in a future vlog if it's fun. But anytime I find a good game that can be played with two people, I like to share it because I just feel like it's kind of hard to find sometimes. So that's that. And then I got cotton rounds because, you know, I go through more of them than I would like. But guess what else came in the mail? My Balance Vitality launch. So I got one of the tanks in every colors because I have been living in just tank tops. And I think if I'm correct, I won't need a bra with these, which is gonna be huge. Look at how stinking cute these are. I'm gonna have to do a try on. Okay, I love them. This is the tank in Jade. So it's made from basically the same material as their Allura bodysuits. That's why it's called the Allura tank. But I definitely don't need to wear a bra if I don't want to wear one. I could, but it's not bad for me. I love the neckline. I love where it hits me at my waist. It's super flattering. It's not, it's not like tight, but it's like a little bit compressive to where it kind of just like snatches you in. This color is Rhodonite. This is actually a lot prettier in person than I thought it was gonna be. It's like a dusty mauve pink, but it's a little deeper in person. It's really pretty on. I literally just gasped when I put this on because it is so stinking cute. I would almost like never make an outfit like this for myself, but it's the perfect summer lounge outfit. So this is, I think, the color Obsidian. It's like a chocolatey brown. And then the shorts are in the same color. And they say, come as you are on the pockets. And they have pockets, which I love. They're also not too short. Okay, so I'm going to Pilates tonight. It's I'm really lucky because my sister actually is a yoga and Pilates instructor. So I get spoiled because I get to go to her classes and I love them. So I'm doing that tonight, which oh, it just, I always feel so happy afterwards because Pilates is like my favorite level of physical activity mixed with like mindfulness and like turning your brain off. It's like such a different workout than going and lifting. Um, so I really like it. It's just a, it's a good mix up. So I've got that in like, Not me struggling to do basic math. <laughs> My God, <laughs> a little over an hour. And I think what I'm gonna do before then is edit the vlog that you'll see before this one, most likely. So I haven't posted a video in like a week because I just haven't been vibing on anything. I haven't had anything I wanted to post. So I've always told myself like I'm not, I want to upload regularly and like that's, um, you know, that's always my goal, but also I don't want to force content. Like I'm not here to just put out stuff that I'm not actually interested in. So it's like finding a balance, you know, I don't want to use that as an excuse to not upload regularly, but also I want to put out stuff that like I care about and that I think you guys will care about maybe. Just finished with my private Pilates class. Definitely not private, I just say that because Liz is the instructor, but uh, yeah, always a good way to end the night. So it's been a little bit after Pilates. <laughs> Charles made a really yummy pasta for dinner. It was so good, and then we watched some TV. Now I'm gonna watch a little YouTube before I get ready for bed. So yeah, I'm gonna finish out this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of coming around with me on this Monday, and I hope you guys had a good day, whatever day it is that you're watching this. Yeah, that's it. I will see you again very soon.